Welcome back to TMZ Sports. I'm Mike Babcock. Um, we have a, a very special guest. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Uh, Frankie Munez joins the show. Uh, Frankie, obviously, uh, we know you are incredibly accomplished when it comes uh, to acting, but uh, you are about to add a little bit of a different profession uh, to your resume because, uh, Frankie, on February 18th, you are going to get behind the wheel of uh, Rhett Jones' number 30 Ford Mustang car, and I know somebody like you that has loved racing for a very long time. How excited are you for this, Frankie? I am on cloud nine. You know, I, I've been very fortunate in my life to get to do a lot of cool things, but this is something that I've wanted literally since I was five years old. You know, I, I've raced in the past, but I always knew I wanted to go stock car racing. I wanted to race NASCAR. So I'm thrilled to be in the Arca Menard series this year and finally get to um, announce it the other day. It felt really good because it's something that we've been talking about for a long time and and here I am. If, if people aren't aware, racing cars is your passion, right? I mean, you you love this. It is. You know, I, I started racing fairly late, you know, considering most professional race car drivers start when they're four, five, six years old, yeah. you know, in carts and work their way up. Right. I uh, did the pro celebrity race in Long Beach that they, that they did for 40 years. And I won that in 2005. And then uh, a team offered me like a test in a form of BMW car. And I went, I was quick in that. And, and then it kind of took over my life. I, you know, saying you want to be a race car driver is like one of those pipe dream kid things where like, oh, I want to be a an astronaut. I want to be a race car driver. I want to be a garbage man. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I threw garbage man in there. But um, but uh, I, I, I think I actually said that when I was young. When people, I, I did. That's I wanted why to I be. <laughs> Me too. I don't know why. Um, there's still time. There's still time. That's my next. You know, hopefully, right. teams you will cover when I become a garbage man. Oh, absolutely. Um, no. So you know, it's one of those things I always wanted, but it's hard to actually become a race car driver. You know, I didn't know how you do it. So I kind of um, jumped in pretty deep when I did 15 years ago, whatever, 17 years ago. Wow. Yeah. It's hard to believe I can say that, right. but I got seriously hurt in 2009, um, missed uh, the whole next season healing. I, you know, I had pins in my hand, broke my back the whole nine and uh, always thought I'd go back racing, but life took over. You know what I mean? I, I yeah. started drumming in a band and doing other things and going back to acting. And I opened up olive oil company and, right kind of doing all these things I wanted to do. And it hit me when I had my son and I wanted him to grow up seeing me reach for a dream, honestly, like as stupid and cheap, you know, cheesy as that sounds like I really want him to, you know, be able to look up to me and everything I've done. So here I am. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, hopefully I do. This is not just a, a one and done thing, right? I mean, it's not just February 18th. You are, you are driving the number 30 car. Yeah, I'll be driving the whole season um, for the national championship, the Arc Menards national championship. Um, so there's 20 races this season. And, uh, you know, I'll be going to a lot of tracks I've never been to and, and hopefully get to meet a lot of people, you know, at those tracks and turn them into Frankie Munez racing fans, you know. But uh, it's it's fun. It's I'm really kind of, like I said, throwing myself off the deep end again. Um, stock car racing, you know, NASCAR, ARCA is a completely different beast from what I did. 15 years ago and I've got a lot to learn and I know that. So I'm competitive. I want to win obviously, but in the same sense, I know that, you know, I, I have to be a realist and know that this is going to be a pretty difficult year for me, but I'm more motivated than ever having being older, you know, I'm 37 years old, which is fairly old to get started into the stock right. car world. But uh, I can take past experience from all the things I've done. Right. And I, it's made me appreciate opportunity more than ever. So I have this opportunity in front of me right now. And I'm going to go for it hundred percent. I don't want to look back at the end of this year and go, man, I wish I tried hard or I wish I trained hard or I wish I spent more time in the shop with the guys learning about the car and figuring things out. Yes. So this is my life. And uh, I hope people come along for the ride with me. You've accomplished so much. You've won awards. You talked about your businesses that you have. Frankie, if you were, say you go out there at some point uh, during the season and you win a race, is it possible for you to sort of place that where uh, in everything you've accomplished throughout your incredible career? Honestly, where, where would that uh, rank? Would that be it? Would that be like the it, top moment? It makes, I'm getting emotional even thinking about the possibility because like I want this so bad. You know what I mean? And unlike being an actor, like I, I had great success as an actor with the show, you know, Emmy nominated, Golden Globe nominated. Like the fact that I can even say that is pretty crazy to me. You know, like I don't even believe it. Um, but in that sense, you know, acting, you know, you get a lucky break, you get a lucky opportunity, you get on a good show. I was on a good show. They had good writing. You know, <laughs> I think anybody could have done it and 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 it would have been a great show, you know. Um, but you know, not to discredit my acting, but in that same sense, racing, what I love about it 
obviously it's a team sport. I've got my crew chief, I've got my team, we're working on the car, we're doing everything we can to make it faster. But when it's time for the green flag to drop, it's me in the car. I can win that race February 18th, you know, so so watch out. The number 30 car's coming. <laughs> how, how emotional will that be for you if, if, if you were to win that race on February 18th? I, I could not imagine. You know, there's a, you know, not to bring up, you know, uh, a somber moment in, in racing history. But in 2001, I drove the pace car for the Daytona 500. I was one of the last people to talk to Dale Earnhardt the day he died. And the car that I'm driving literally today and in the race in February was one of the cars that was involved in that wreck. And it's just a weird kind of tie. And I feel like it, it, I'm supposed to be where I am right now. You know what I mean? It's almost like yeah. one of those, like, when you look at all the pieces, you kind of go like, this is the universe telling me like, this is, this is meant to be, I feel like, and uh, I'm hoping that's the case. And uh, hopefully, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know exactly how I'll react, but like the way I feel right now, just even the thought about it, it's going to be, it would, it would rank up there a hundred percent as, as the, the greatest accomplishment of, well, okay. Maybe marrying my wife, having right. my son, professional, sure. but, but definitely number three, <laughs> the, uh, winning a race for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Frank. Yeah. I appreciate Thank your you. time so much. Have a good one.